right, listen to this story. A mother in North Dakota recently pleaded guilty to counts of child neglect because she was feeding her infant, breastfeeding her infant, while intoxicated. Most people know not to nurse while drunk, but could consuming even a small amount of alcohol, one glass of wine, harm your baby. Dr. Svetlana Kogan, board certified internist, joins me now to discuss this. I'm so glad you're here, Dr. Kogan. Good morning, because I find the information on this from the medical community highly inconsistent. My doctors, when I had just had my children, actually recommended oh, having gracious. a glass of beer because it enhanced, it increased milk production. So clearly, Was this in New York or in Zambia? In New York. Oh my goodness. And in fact, I mean, lots of my friends, doctors, have said that one glass of wine, one glass of beer, it's okay. Is it not? It's absolutely not. And I'm going to have to take a very strong stance on this. Um, scientific evidence points, and there are numerous large randomized trials pointing to the fact that even a little bit of alcohol can harm the baby um, in a breastfeeding mother. And the harm can come as a hepatitis, inflammation of the liver, chronic exposure to alcohol through the breast. Even eating. a glass yeah. of wine. Even a glass of wine, because some of us are slow metabolizers. Everybody's digesting alcohol at different rates. So if you, you know, sit 10 women on this couch and give them a glass of alcohol, each and every one of them will, have, will be processing it at a different rate. There is an enzyme that's called alcohol dehydrogenase that each and every one of us has, and it works at different rates in different women. That's interesting, because I have always wondered about the rate, because yeah. you know there's a well-known practice called the pump and dump practice, right. where after a mom yeah. has gone out and said, say, had a margarita, you come home, you pump the milk, and you dump it down the sink. How long do you have to do that before it's safe to breastfeed your children again? An hour, two hours, a day? What is it? I think a good rule, and I'm saying this as a physician and a mother, a good safe rule, if you want to make sure that there is not a trace of alcohol left in your body, no matter how slow of, met of a metabolizer you are, you want to spend a day without an alcohol before you breastfeed again. So pump and dump for a day after you had a drink and then you're free to breastfeed again. See, now that sounds extreme yeah. to me, and yeah. here's why. Because yeah. that suggests that you are giving your child formula during that day, that formula is better than your, the mother's breast milk, correct. and there's an yeah. entire school of thought that says that formula is never better. Look, breastfeeding is a huge responsibility, and we should be mindful of what we're doing while breastfeeding. It's uh, you know, certainly a God-given gift that we should exercise cautiously. And I love red wine. Don't get me wrong. I love uh, a drink once in a while. But when I was breastfeeding, you know, I would keep a day between the breastfeeding and, and, and an alcohol intake to make sure my child is safe, to make sure that they don't develop things like encephalomalacia, um, development of the brain can get stalled. Right, very dangerous things. Let me tell you what the American Academy of Pediatrics says about drinking while breastfeeding. Breastfeeding mothers should avoid the use of alcohol beverage, alcoholic beverages because alcohol is concentrated in breast milk and can inhibit milk production, different than what my doctor said. Yeah. An occasional celebratory single small alcoholic drink is acceptable, but breastfeeding should then be avoided for two hours after the drink. So they're not as conservative as what you're saying. Abs they're not as conservative and they're making a very equivocal statement here. What kind of a drink are they talking about? Are they talking about a wine cooler with a 5% alcohol in it? Are they talking about, uh, you know, a glass of red wine with 15 to 20% of alcohol in it? It's big. Oh. Well, yeah. Dr. Svetlana Kogan, thanks for coming on this morning. It's my pleasure. And uh, warning everyone that it's more dangerous than we know about. Thank you. Certainly. All right.